Hi guys, in this video we will be creating dropping stones using cell fracture. So let's get into it. Okay, so now we have our blender file open. Let's start making our rock to drop. We need this rock, right? So let's just go shift A and then just go to mesh. Okay, so these are all the things. Let's just go to mesh. And then you, you may not see the rock generator. You may. So just go edit preferences and then just select extra objects. Search up in the add ons. Now you see the rock generator. I'm just going to click it. Sure, now we have a good rock, right? It's randomized every time, so it's good. I'm just going to apply these, but firstly, let's just see how our rock looks. Okay, so I'll just delete one. Actually, no. I'll just show you, and then I shaded it flat as well. Now, what we do is, like, you see all these weird textures, right? Well, we'll just apply these, like I said before. It'll take some time, but yeah, you'll apply them. Cool. So now we have our rock. This is a handy hint, how to create rocks automatically. Huh? Okay, so now for, now we gotta set the color. So I'm just gonna add the color. Just, I'm just gonna select new. Okay, and I'm just gonna set the color. You can, you can put this to anything you want. I'll go to mesh mode first. And then I'm just gonna put this to black, because I like black. Not really, but yeah, <laughs> sure. You may select any color you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna rotate this for what desires me perfectly. And then just move it on the z-axis upwards. Okay. I'll just move this up more. And then I'm just gonna go Control A and all transforms. This will set the view and then the item to zero, which will be really good. Okay, so this is our default position. I'm just gonna view the selected object. Okay. Okay, now we have a thing. And now let's add a floor. Not a cube, I meant a floor. Okay, so now we add a floor, a plane. And then we're gonna scale this up to your appropriate size. And then let's go and go to physics. And then have rigid body. So I'm just going to go to Object, Rigid Body, and add Passive. Now we already added the Rigid Body, which is a really cool tip. Let's just keep this on Convex Hull for now. You can change this if you want because you, it's a mesh. Now we're going to do the same thing. Object, Rigid Body, no sorry, Quick Effects, and Cell Fracture. You may not see this again. So I'll go to Edit, Preferences, and s just go to Add-ons and search up Cell Fracture. Okay. So now we have this done. Let's go object, quick effects, and cell fracture. Now we get this weird, mind blowing list. So now we gotta select them. Now, firstly, set the source limit to 80. I already have this, so it'll be 100 for you. I'm just gonna put this at 80, okay? Because that's the limit. Noise, I'm gonna set it to 0.2. I already have this here. Settings, I don't know why. Recursion. That's when um, pieces break to more pieces. I'm just going to set this to two. And the material, we have a material. You, if you want textures, you can put this to one. Just put it to one for now. Okay. Like that. So that's all, actually. I'm just going to click OK. And this will take some time. It's going to calculate all of it. It's just going to make stuff one by one. It's going to take a long time. Don't worry, it's not going to crash. Okay, and then you have a rock. Cool, right? It's broken up into tiny shards and pieces. So now select the first rock. You see all these things are selected, right? Select rock number one, the thing you haven't selected, and then just move it. This is the original mesh. Okay, I'm just going to move it in the Z, 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 no, X axis, sorry. <laughs> I keep messing that up. Now we're gonna, we see we've got selected everything. Now we're going to pair this. So select that object last, control P, and go object. So now when you move the first object, it moves all of them. But let's go control L and link materials as well. Okay, cool. 
Now you see relationship lines will be on. It will be really messy because it's all pointed. I'm just gonna set, go to overlays and the drop down menu and then just untick relationship lines. Oh wait, where is it? Oh. Oh, oh it's here. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Okay, it's there. Cool. Okay. I'm just gonna select all of this now. Okay, so then everything selected. Wait, you see these two bits, right? They're not parented, so let's just delete them. We don't need them. There's just mini pieces inside. I'm just gonna select this now. And now it's time to add the rigid body. But before that, we got to go select one object, go object, quick effect, no, sorry, rigid body, and then go add active. Now, if you play the animation, it'll fall down nicely. But, but we need to make it more realistic, right? So now if you play it, it falls down. It is really, really realistic, but we have to make it more realistic. You see tiny shards, right? That's because recursion was set to two. Okay. Now I'm gonna go object. I'm gonna go quick effects. No, sorry, why do we keep getting this wrong? Rookie body, uh, calculate mass, and then go to the bottom. Now you see there's this thing called a uh, stone crushed, right? Where is it? It's gonna take some time to find out. I think it was at the bottom somewhere. Peanuts. Yeah, there's peanuts as well. Glass broken, yeah. You just have to find it. it takes some time, but you gotta find it. Now you see, stone crushed. Let's select this. Now if you play it, depending on mass, so depending on the size, the kilogram or the mass is increased, which is really cool. It will give more realism to this object. Now if you play it, nice, the rock broke. Okay, I'm just gonna set the perfect view for this. Okay, cool. Now that's 23 kilograms, this is view the selected object which is in the middle. And now let's hide that object. Now it's black, right? Because we set the color to black earlier. This is really cool. Okay. So now I can just in, just play around with it. Let's set metallic, not the, that much. We don't want it to be metal rock. <laughs> let's just set this to uh, 0 0.26 something. And then the roughness to 1. No, not one. That's gonna be like sheen tint or something. Let's do 0.5 for the roughness. Okay, so that's our animation.